I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an artichoke. I take one finger in the center at the bottom and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line to the left, curve line up, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot. Straight line to the right, curve line up, and leave it floating. Come back to the left. We're going to draw that curve line out, in, up, in, up, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Right down here on this little right hand side, we're going to draw a curve line out, in, curve line out, down, connect. Starting back here on the left, we're going to draw a curve line up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, connect. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a curve line up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, connect. Come up a little bit further and we're going to draw another curve line up, down, curve line up, down, curve line up, down, connect. Starting over here on the left, we're going to add curve line up, connect on the outside, curve line up, down, connect on the outside, curve line up, down, connect, curve line up down, connect, curve line up, down, connect. Come on the right hand side, we're going to do the same thing. Curve line out, in, connect, curve line up, in, connect, curve line up, down, connect, curve line in, out, connect, curve line up, down, connect. Now at the very, very top, Curve line in, connect, curve line in, connect, curve line in, connect, and if you need one more, curve line in, connect. Now, I'm going to take and make a border out of a dotted line all the way around each one of the edges of my square. And this is purely for decorative design. Just add a little dotted line across the top. Okay? Alright, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, artichokes have gradations of color. We're going to start with light first. I'm going to take my yellow green and I'm going to just put some lines of yellow green on each one of my leaves all the way through all the spaces and do each one individually so it forms the shape that you're doing with color all the way up all the way down now we're going to triple color or quadruple color our artichoke so the first color light to dark always work light to dark I'm using my yellow green. Next, take your regular green and you can loop de loop over all that light yellow green. Now, because you've got lines of color, when you loop de loop over it, it gives you a little bit more texture. And again, the best thing to do is to try and color each leaf separately as its own entity. Bring it up, bring it over, bring it down, bring it up, bring it over, 
all the way to the top. You can always add more color, but it's difficult to take it away. So I always try to do on something that's triple color. We're going to try and do it lightly first. Okay, now take your green, and you're kind of going to mimic the yellow-green lines you did earlier, but probably not so many. Just take it, and again, it works best if you do it in each space. Okay, a little bit down here at the bottom. Next, I should say, is a brown and you want to use it sparingly not a lot but you do want to put some brown on not too much not too much a couple of lines on each space if you look at an artichoke they're really a beautiful vegetable okay the last thing take a purple crayon this is totally just for decoration and just fill in your background with purple straight lines. Okay? Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my artichoke all colored in. And it is the California State Recognized Vegetable. Okay, bye-bye.